team, Brad Smith here, HealthLink. Today I wanna to talk about images, size, text, and linking. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner and founder of HealthLink.com. It's my mission and my passion to help others with their business. So if I can be your coach, your mentor, or help you in any way, that's my goal. My goal is to bring you value. So let me know if there's anything I can help you with, and I look forward to working with you. When setting up your website for success, images plays a huge role in not only the search engine optimization, but also the user experience. So the three things I wanna go over today is first of all is the size. Now when setting up an image in my website, I upload it any size, it doesn't matter, but I have a decompression tool. If you don't have a decompression tool, you can always resize it before you upload it. Now something that's 2,000, 3,000 megapixels is gonna just slow down your site. It's going to oversize on some pages and it might not even look good in mobile. It all depends on what type of website you have. So it's always best to decompress, now resize before you upload it, and then try to decompress if you have a plugin or some sort of software to do that in your site. The next one is the text. So this is where the search engine optimization comes in with the text. When somebody does a search on Google or Bing or any search engine, if they're like me, half the time I do the search, the other half I do searches for images. Now what happens if your image that you title correctly shows up on the first page of Google for images and they get taken back to your website? That's gonna help your website grow, which is the ultimate goal, right? So every time I upload an image, let's say into my blog, I name the image the exact same title as the title of my blog. This way, if somebody's searching for my blog, they see my image, they're gonna go to my blog. So you need to do this for every single image this not only helps with people finding your site, but also ranking higher in search engines just from your images. And the last thing is linking your images. Now, every time you upload an image, this is probably the thing you forget the most. I know I forget this the most, but I have to remind myself and remember to put some sort of link in your image, directing somebody where to go once they click on the image. Our natural tendency when someone's reading a blog or looking at your website is to click on large images or images that they like. Where are you gonna take them? Are you gonna take them to a image that pops up on the website and takes them to another page? Or are you gonna take them to a sales page, to another page, to keep them on your blog? That's what you need to remember is people are gonna be clicking on your images and then that's another opportunity for you to send them where you want them to go. So I hope these three tips help today. Uh, the three is decompression, for your images, the text and title for your image, and also linking for your image. Hopefully this helped, leave me a comment below, and I will talk to you guys later.